and so now just dropping in, just falling into the heart and just allowing the energies of this huge time that we continually find ourselves in, allowing that to just fall deeper and deeper into your body. We're all here in our bodies. We're meant to wear these energies, allow them to pass through. So breathing all the energies through now, deep through your central channel as you breathe, dropping into the heart, dropping into the belly, and allowing yourself, allowing yourself to deeply feel some of the greater nuances within your body today. On the in-breath, breathing in, we're going to count for three breaths, breathing in. And at the top of the breath, just holding for another three. And exhaling. Perhaps for five or six if you can. And breathing in again for five. Five heartbeats. And coming, resting, see if you, if you can hold for five. And exhale. Just helps to bring you deeper into the body, calming, and now extending your grounding cord deep into the earth, plunging into the core, into your innermost chamber, within your central chamber. Focusing your awareness there as I call upon the life force power of the universe. And I'm just having a microphone problem. Not quite sure why that is. I'll let it go again. I'll just let it go. Okay, so just breathing. And I call upon the life force power of the universe. I call upon the mystery of the Divine Mother, Shakti, in all your forms. the cosmic Christ consciousness. There are so many. And so there are various ones now deep in our heart. I am going to invoke Lord Maitreya, Sanat Kumara, Lord Buddha, Chiron, Lord Michael, and I'm also going to invite Isis, Mother Mary, Durga, Kali, Kuan Yin, Lord Jesus, and my dear friend, Christ the King, CTK for short. We need them all now. 
for we are here in a time that is, we are turning the page and we are firing up our passions and our will. And we ask for your assistance, great ones, that our souls step forward and that we may indeed always uh, connect to exactly what we need be it words, protection, energy, or chutzpah, whatever it is in your language. Our passion, may it flow through constantly, driving us with courage and always connecting us to our guides, angels, dear brothers and sisters, just behind the veil, very close. They are always with us. And so feeling their presence in your heart and giving them permission to usher you, urge you, and guide you. Guide us all. As we enter now into um, uh, the inner chambers within the core of the earth, and we have uh, been picked up and we are moving through um, a wormhole of sorts. Yes, we have been picked up. And we are moving directly into uh, an arena that is otherworldly. Our uh, six senses, all of them, are being uh, aroused to an attunement uh, that uh, we need to Uh, continually, uh, uh, initially, in the days ahead, uh, uh, remind ourselves to attune to. It will come to be automatic if the practice is done over the next days and uh, a week. It takes a while to re- Um, program the brain and so it's up to each one of us as we weave the sacred divine embellishments into our being. So there are uh, greater communication levels being woven The brain is alert and alive as we breathe. Insofar as that we can uh, line our inner uh, 
heart chamber with the nourishment of a self-love that engenders an ongoing deepening. It is a two-way relationship. Again, choice points, conscious moments where we uh, touch in, we deepen that relationship. Each touch is a potential deepening, weaving. So we are weaving the heart mind into the heart chamber, merging um, and co creating uh, the high heart to come front and center. Indeed, the high heart is the, the fully merged third eye and heart chakras. We are coming into a time now where this high heart will become a beaming radiation. And you will pick up uh, multiple nuances. from various dimensions, galaxies, universes, brothers, sisters, guiding you. And we are presently now um, in a reality where we have landed through this as a result of moving through the wormhole, where it is commonplace to communicate, to feel with this high heart, allow your high heart to receive, allow your chest to expand to the levels that it needs to And know that there are many great ones with you, uh, not in ways that you tend to think that they are with you, beyond your imagination. They are... Um, communicating uh, through your nervous system, through your emotional body, through your mental body. The communication um, is far greater than we realize. And there is a request for each and every one listening to um, to honor the body in a deeper way, to um, energetically now. Uh, it's it's about nourishment. It's about the food we eat. It's about how we approach food, how we enter where we prepare food, um, 
what the sounds are, what the conversations are, and to uh, begin to treat oneself, um, uh, one's food, and everything that pertains to food with a uh, meditative focus and awareness um, so that this will uh, increase your prana, draw to you that which you need. This will uh, embolden your magnetism and um, bring uh, a deeper, calmer um, fulfillment to you, for you, as we breathe. The impetus certainly is to um, eat um, nourishment that serves you. And finally, let go of every last piece of that which does not nourish you. Be it words, people, relationships, places, sounds. These are important times. If you... Uh, have a more serious approach to your practice, to the outcome of where you are going in your life. These pieces all affect that outcome as we breathe. Trust yourself. Trust what flows through you. Trust all the nuances in your being. Allow Shakti to stroke and softly caress. your central shushuma channel. You are preparing this channel for her. She is already present. It is this channel that is in your hands to, in your vulnerability, in your softness, to bend, to flow, to receive her grace. Allow her all the way into the back of your heart now. Allow her through. So that you can breathe in and out with a greater more conscious awareness as 
as she strokes and lays down within your most tender inner chamber. She is softer than a rose petal, softer than the interior of the womb that contains a baby as she grows. Allow yourself to become that soft, that tender, that open. So that Shakti may entirely enter. And now let go. Breathe. Line this inner chamber with your in breath that is lined with Shakti's grace. And breathe again. Allow your auric field to Merge with your heart chakra. Allow the free flow, the expansion, whilst you are thoroughly held and protected. Let go even more. It is here, in your inner chamber, that is the security, the safety, where your foundational stability will hold you. This is where you harness from, deepen. And let go even more.
there is a profound sense of um, strength around the exterior of your field. as the goddesses, in a sense, embolden, strengthen, feed this safety net with their nourishment for you. Absorb Durga's strength. Experience. Feel deeply Isis's backbone. Allow her posture to move into your backbone, into your shishuma. Receive Kuan Yin's tender, gentle, compassionate touch, her grace. As you breathe and drink Mother Mary's purity Her shining heart full of love. All of these energies, harmonics, receiving them. Allowing yourself to embed these energies deep within the most tender places within you. So that even in your deep vulnerability, you will be able to rise up with full strength, all manner of knowing, courage, endurance, and yet in a flicker deliver empathy and tenderness where required. You are Shakti's expression out into this world. The world needs Shakti. Shakti is returning and some cannot bear to see her but you 
will bring her to those people on occasion for them to bear just a little more and to grow in their involvement. And this is your seva, your service. Amongst the many other great things that you will do into the future. And so we are being called to embolden, to strengthen, to feel the warrior within and to be that. But for now, there are um, feminine ones who have arrived and they are sweeping the scene and they are wanting to uh, refresh the palate, refresh uh, the frequencies, uh, to turn up mm, the levels of potentialities that you feel that you can carry. They are wanting to up the game. They are wanting to up the pace of our lives right now. And yet, we are uh, in their midst and receiving a healing of sorts. We are um, basically receiving frequencies on healing tables. We lie on crystals. We are being filled with crystalline uh, code. It streams through us. as we breathe, as we receive, as we come into a deeper and greater knowing, and let go. Christ consciousness is working at the back of the fifth chakra on all of us. Allow this work and the more we let go the more we can receive. It's almost as if we are dropping into an abyss and then we let go again. Into the nothing, no thing space. 
where we merge with everything. And that is exactly what is happening through the fifth chakra. And there may be a caress for some of you as you are eased into greater states. assisted ushered and the Christ consciousness is asking me to say to you that you are so magnificent Allow the words to uh, dissolve into the lining of your central channel. You are a magnificent, sacred soul of extraordinary light. You radiate. an exquisite part of Shakti that no one else can emit but you radiate this light. The children need it. Allow this flow to occur in your daily life. Breathing in now, feelings of appreciation for you. And breathing out on a feeling of appreciation. Breathing in on a feeling of peace and breathing out, riding the wave of the emotion of peace. Breathing in that feeling of safety and stability and breathing out that safety and stability. And breathing in and arising to the top of your breath, a feeling of freedom, completely free and exhaling this wonderful feeling of freedom. And now choosing to breathe in and riding to the top of your breath, a feeling of exhilaration. Allowing the effervescence of exhilaration to flow through your crown chakra and breathing out the feeling of exhilaration. Breathing in, riding to the top of your breath, the feeling of joy. Bring it, ride it, feel it, and allowing that joy to flow out.
and coming back to your heart, to your central shashuma, coming back to the couch, the chair, wherever you may be, and thanking yourself for giving yourself the time to move through the very expressions that affect your magnetism, that bring to you the prosperity and the joy in your life. And so, loving yourself. giving thanks to the great ones who have been present coming back into your body really sensing all parts of yourself And I wish you a heartfelt namaste.